Hello guys on YouTube, how are you guys today? Well, today's title of this blog is a Kodak Film Camera. Very interesting camera, it brings me back uh, to the past of what I used to use when I was a whole lot younger before I start using uh, digital uh, cameras. But, like I said, uh, these are a non-disposable camera, and by the way, I do have uh, gloves on here, guys, to actually protect my hands from getting the oils on the film. Is what's in this uh, old-fashioned uh, metal uh, film can store right here. I will also show you that. And this is just a standard uh, film camera. Very easy to start out with. Uh, you can start out with a, a digital camera or a film style camera. This is what I uh, used to use uh, years back, but not this style camera, but it was a non type of camera I used to use uh, with the film. You guys, you guys can see it's just a Kodak Camera 35 film. That's what this uh, camera uses, but the problem is. Uh, this camera, the film is no longer being made for this camera, but if you go look online, you probably will find the film itself, but you may not find it in stores. Uh, this actually has some good features. It has a flash. Here is your very small uh, lens right here to take the picture. This is your little window here before you can actually look out the window when you're taking a picture. And on this side, uh, we do have some batteries. Uh, on this side, it takes just two AAA size batteries, and this is just a little flap to pull out the batteries. Uh, very nice camera, very nice camera. And on the top, we have your uh, flash release shutter release, and I kind of turned it on. And that actually has the auto feed. This actually has an audio feed uh, system inside of it. And here we have the outside of the hole right there for you can look outside uh, the window. Here we also have the slide for the auto feed. And here we have the charge mechanism right here to charge the flash. And by the way, this is just a film camera, not a digital camera. This does not have any type of LCD display to actually show you the image. And it's the bottom, you know, no tripod mount, nothing on this camera. And to actually open this uh, film uh, camera, you take the release button, you open it like this, take it up, open. This is where your uh, film would go, right on here, and this is where the film would go across and, and, and do this little uh, wheel, this electrical wheel right here, and it would actually feed the film once you take that picture. Now, the type of film uh, this used to use was a Kodak type film. Uh, Kodak no longer uh, makes the film for this camera. I don't think, I think it might be Allen Film Companies. It probably will make the film for this camera. But the uh, film uh, cameras are slowly, uh, I think slowly uh, discontinuing here guys because of all the type of digital stuff we have by this uh, why this is a slide uh, uh, to protect your uh, little uh, your little eye right here your little uh, lens right there if you put it in a carrying case or you can put it in your pocket but do make sure you have this open if you're going to take a picture don't cover the flash and also don't cover your uh, little lens or your IP stuff but this is a really cheap uh, basic camera you can uh, get these anywhere you want to buy them. You can get them online. You can get them at uh, thrift shops, uh, Goodwills, garage sales, and also sometimes you can find disposable cameras in stores. But I don't know if you can oh, going to be able to find this style camera in a store itself. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the uh, film. This film is in a metal uh, container for a couple reasons. This has to be not to be disposed by light. I don't know if that's actually true with this type of film, but it's all types of film out there. 
you do want to be careful not to expose this type of film to light but I think this film might be okay to be used by light. Now, let's go ahead and open uh, this film canister. By the way, this is, uh, I think, metal or a aluminum uh, uh, old-fashioned uh, film canister. And here we have the film right inside there. We're going to go ahead and pull out the film very gently. Make sure you're uh, not exposing the film too much to the light. This is already used film, by the way. This typically will never come like this in a uh, film canister. This will typically uh, be in its own uh, canister. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put the cap on. I uh, try not to suspose way too much of the film in the light. And yes, I do have gloves on, by the way, to actually protect the gloves and also protect the film. Don't know if you guys can see that. This does have some film, uh, uh, some pictures on this. This <coughs> is the type of film uh, this camera would actually use to take pictures. Now, the issue with using film cameras is you're going to constantly uh, have to use film uh, for the camera itself. Now, these are called... Uh, Negatives, by the way, here guys. These are called negatives uh, film. Uh, these uh, you would have to take to a professional to get the actual process and get the film uh, developed and all your pictures developed. And trust me, this is a very nice style film. But it's sad that you no longer make the film for the style camera. But like I said, on the line, online, you can order the film. You guys can see there's those little notches, little two notches, the uh, little teeth uh, grabs on this uh, little oil of film. Now let's go ahead and put this film back in its darkened container for we not to expose it to too, too much light here for we don't actually damage uh, the film itself anymore than what it actually is. Now typically this film would be in a metal housing and that little can canister uh, to go inside of your camera. Now this really brings me back to the past of old technology and also old film cameras. And yeah, like I said, if you really want to start out by using uh, cameras, you can choose on whatever camera you decide to use. Uh, you can choose using a digital camera or a film camera but this is a nice camera to actually keep around uh, for old day use now biggest uh, issue with uh, these uh, cameras is sometimes these cameras uh, will work uh, and sometimes these cameras won't work because of the older technology in this but this is not a crank style uh, camera you don't have to worry about winding the film into the spindle this is a auto feed only very nicely built and nicely designed i don't know what year this is it's probably from the 19 maybe from the 1980s or the 1990s i just don't know because i don't know what year this camera really was made but you actually do have older cameras than this camera but like i said the film it's very hard to find for this style camera because the camera itself is no longer being made by Kodak and the film is no longer being made by Kodak. You can use any type of film if you can find the film for the camera. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I, know, I don't know if you guys can see the words up there but very interesting of this type of camera uh, in its days when this camera was a proper camera but now <coughs> these cameras are slowly disc being discontinued and so is the film and you would uh, have to have multiple batteries and also multiple films uh, for this type of camera if you're doing a lot of uh, still uh, photos this is a good camera for that, but this camera will not do uh, 
video. Just to let you guys know that. But a film is a special design for this camera. It's 35 film uh, size uh, for this camera. But luckily I can't find any film for this camera in stores. I bet you then the one you can't find that the film for this camera in stores, you may only find it online only. And do yourself a favor if you're going to be using uh, film cameras, try to have some gloves on and make sure you do this in a, a little bit of dark in the room. Uh, not as not in a very bright light room like I am right now. Because I don't know if this film is a good candidate for light. But this is a negative. This is what's inside this, I think, a old-fashioned aluminum canister. This is what the old canister used to look like. But now you have plastic ones. But, again, I don't think you can find the film for this camera. It really brings me back to the old past of older cameras. Very nicely designed. Very lightweight. And also it's a very cheap camera. You can get probably get this camera under like uh, say maybe 14 bucks or even maybe 20 bucks. But the film uh, can be quite expensive. Maybe like uh, 10 bucks for a four pack of film for this type of camera. But alright guys, uh, this is somewhat of what I want to talk about about these type of cameras. Now sorry guys, I can't load the film in this camera because this uh, uh, film has already been used. You only got to use a new uh, film uh, for this style of camera. Alright, if you guys are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. Bye guys. We'll see you hopefully in the next vlog.